Hello guys, this is Elson from Million Dollar Listing and today we are at Eastwood Drive uh, in one of the most sought after lender cluster in the, this little corner of Bedok South and why is it so sought after? Because the prices here are very affordable and by affordable we mean $2.35 million for a semi-detached which I'm going to show you later. So at the back, you will see rows and rows of terraces and this entire area of Eastwood is a mixed three-storey landed zone which simply means you can build a three-storey and an attic not exceeding an overall height of 15.5 uh, meters as you see here if you choose to go for the rebuild option. And now back to the facade of the semi-detached we are looking at today. Uh, this is the first thing you're going to see every day when you arrive back home. Uh, you can see that level 2 and level 3, they have verandas, step-out verandas. Uh, compared to the other houses, they are of full-length windows. So this is something unique out of these um, four plots of semi-detached. Uh, why not come on in? So built in 1998 and completed there and then, uh, I think the layouts of uh, semi-detached are pretty much standard. You have a car porch, uh, grass turf, and front and side terraces. Uh, the total size of this house is on land 2,500 square feet. The build-up is 3,300 square feet. You are going to get six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. That means all the bedrooms are all en suite. And look at this side terrace. It, I mean, it goes all the way to the back, to your backyard. And that's the perks of uh, uh, having a semi-detached with windows on the sides as well. So why not just follow me, I'll show you the rest of the house. And right into the house, you get a good weave in the living area. Uh, there's enough space for everybody there ample windows on the sides for the natural light to come in and in that period where they built this kind of landed homes you will see that there is a segregated uh, living and dining area it, I mean it, it, it separates the zones from uh, the quiet living area and the noisy dining area or your work area and what I really love about this is that in a semi-detached home you get to open sliding doors like that and then the breeze comes in the natural light comes in and you have a little step out you know for some fresh air and things like that and coming to the kitchen this is a i would say a country kind of a kitchen and uh, it's just your mom's kitchen your granny's kitchen it just feels like a kitchen and to the yard, that's where more brightness comes in and you have your little garden here and just look at the different varieties of plants that you can have in this short grass patch. You know, you don't have to put things, you don't have to place any furniture, you just enjoy the open spaces, going to the sides, you just have space everywhere. And that's your neighbour right there. And the most important room on level one is the granny's room, which can also function as a maid's room because grannies can't really climb stairs and you need one on level one. And I simply love the wooden parquets on the staircase. And these are original parquets. Why not follow me up to level two? The first thing you see on level 2 is the huge family area with windows, uh, natural light coming in. So you can imagine how much larger the rooms are going to be. And on this level, you have three bedrooms and all are ensuite uh, bedrooms. This will be the master. And you can see that it is really huge. You can place lots of things in the room. Uh, what I really love about was this veranda I spoke about uh, from the outside. Slide it open, get some sun, get some fresh air. You can look at your entire neighborhood. 
I think it's a very nice veranda. And opposite us will be the suitable rooms for your uh, young children. They all come with ensuite. You can watch over them on the same level. And this will be a second room right here, side by side. So you can have two young children on the same level. Your master bedroom is over there. Follow me to level three. You get another family area on level three, which you hardly get because level three is always the attic level where the floor plate is shrunk and you have a drum set, you have your own gym area. Uh, the brightness is also pretty good. And this is bedroom number five. And on this level, we have two bedrooms. You can see that the bedrooms are huge as well. And they all come with a back veranda, back balcony, or I call it. And you can see how much breeze is coming in. Let's just close this. And lastly, the last room on the opposite side, which is on the front side, without even switching on any lights, it's going to be very bright. You have your own step out veranda as well. Just look at the sun, just look at the sun rays coming in. I mean, it's not warm, it just has this holiday vibe to it. And as you step out, you can overlook your entire neighborhood on level three. I would love to live in this house. I mean, my owners are the first owners here. They have lived here for the entire 23 years. And it is always a bonus to uh, buy a landed home. And it's a first owner because you can know the history, you can know who they are. And if you recall, right opposite there, uh, at Minaret Walk, we sold uh, two terraces. We sold number 22 at 2.82 million. And this other one, number 11, at 2.7 million. And and both are terrace status and they already cost half a million more compared to this one that uh, we have here right at Eastwood Drive. And of course, bear in mind that uh, this is of leasehold status, so the purchasing price will be much lower, which equates to your mortgages being uh, more affordable. And you still get to live in a semi-detached in this little Bedok area. And whenever I'm tasked to sell a landed, I love using the One Map application. When you key in the address, you can see lots of other information. You can see that these are rows and rows of terraces, which are the most common type of houses in this cluster. And only a few rows comes with uh, semi-detached plots. And this house is the closest to the main road, which means uh, accessibility to the bus stops, uh, to the Bedok Hawker Center, to cold storage down there, and the future MRT line. And by 2024, the Thomson Eastern Line will be ready and Sungai Bedok Station is just 415 meters walk away. That's like the distance of a lap around the stadium. And during pandemic times like this, I think the outdoors and the parks are very important elements for everyone's lifestyle. Over at Sungai Bedok Park Connector, the entire stretch of canal uh, that, that the works and construction is almost 81% completed and should be ready by second quarter of 2021. And that means you have a new refresh park connector belt and two new parks at Bedok Ria and Eastwood. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you like this house as much as we do. Uh, leave a comment about this house if you have and be sure to like and subscribe. We have more home tours coming your way.